I am an Australian that's lived in Iceland for five years and having lived here for a while I know a lot of people that either are completely obsessed with this country and want to move here or they have a story of how they came and they never left and that's my story <laughs> and I've never shared how this actually happened to me why I ended up staying here in this country for such a long time and to help fill in the missing gaps I am going to be using Storyblocks. Storyblocks is a stock footage website with thousands of studio quality clips, after effect templates and motion backgrounds that help enhance your visual storytelling. Create more high quality videos with an affordable subscription that provides unlimited downloads of 1 million plus royalty free stock assets. Whether you're currently unable to explore the outdoor surroundings or you don't have the sufficient equipment to capture high quality footage, Storyblocks can help. Check out the link in the bio to find out more. So the full story of how I moved to Iceland actually starts on this farm here. No, it doesn't. It actually starts here. No, it doesn't. It actually starts here on this road. No, it actually starts here in the car. I was driving along six years ago in Australia, listening to the radio and the majestic voice of Auskir comes on. An amazing Icelandic artist. I knew nothing about this country and so he piqued my interest in this country and I wanted to find out more. At a similar time, I was watching TV with my housemates in Sydney and we were watching The Bachelor and one of the contestants said her favourite place in the whole wide world was Iceland. And in that exact second, I got up off the couch and I ended up booking a one-way ticket to Iceland. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows though, because the next two months I spent panicking every night over the decision, but I still followed through on it, and I'm very glad. On my first trip, when I was driving on this specific road, I knew that Iceland stole a piece of my heart. It's so beautiful. I can't get over how beautiful it is. Now that I'm back here, I realize that this road doesn't really have that much because Iceland has glaciers, volcanoes, mountains, waterfalls, <laughs> and yet I cried here. I guess Iceland has my heart. There's nothing here. Sick. Day three of my trip, I was soaking here at the Secret Lagoon, and I had the thought, I want to move to Iceland. But if I'm going to move to Iceland, I need a job. So I asked here if they had a job here for me. And they said no. So then I had no choice but to leave, and I went to visit my family in Poland. I landed at the airport at 2am, with no way of getting to my layover hostel. Then three dudes walked past me as I was trying to connect to Wi-Fi, and one of them said, there's no internet here, come with us. I said okay. <laughs> then one of the guys randomly tells me about his friend's magical place back in Iceland that I could go and relax on. So my ticket to return back to the country had arrived. So my dad drops me off at the airport and he told me, don't get stuck in Iceland. I said, there's no chance because there's nothing for me in Iceland. <laughs> ah, nothing for me in Iceland. What an idiot. <laughs> Welcome to the Spirit Farm. Okay. So the Spirit Farm, is actually the reason that I was able to come back to Iceland and live here. It was a starting point of the entire journey. I was trying everything to try to figure out how I could come back to Iceland because it is very expensive to live here and I didn't have a lot of money. Um, luckily, I was able to stay in this place, contact the owners, and I stayed here for a full month. I was only meant to come for a month. This was my room when I first arrived. The most beautiful, breathtaking view. I remember looking out the window when I was first here, looking out, being like, I'm in Iceland for a month? How on earth did I manage to make this magical reality happen? Oh, so beautiful. Also, it's a magical place because this is where I met Leon. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I brought him over here for breakfast. We ended up having breakfast before doing a road trip. We were gonna be like friends, two Australians in Iceland. But, you know, sparks were flying. <laughs> Life on this farm was delightful. So I had to bring my favorite people in the world here. So I brought my sister, my mom, my stepdad, my bro. I brought everybody. And guess what? My bro is still here. Come on. How are you doing? <laughs> no one knows why I'm laughing. I can't. Conrad. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Didn't even notice you come through the front door. Is it, is it still rolling? <laughs> He's building this place into a sexy spiritual retreat place. It is epic. We will make a video about this. I'll show you guys. It's beautiful. And it's nice to see that such an important house has done so much for my life and like Connor's life as well. I love it. And it's about returning to get back to the people. Giving it back yeah. for the for the fact that we can be in Iceland and we can live here and enjoy this country together. So thank you, Iceland, and all the people that live here. <laughs> the next five years were a whirlwind. Shortly afterwards, I started my YouTube journey, which we know what happens there. Scarlett, talk to me, girl. Talk to me. What is your beauty routine like? At the early stages of my YouTube, I was almost broke, but just at this point, I won the best job on the planet out of 17,000 applicants. That was wild. I continued traveling like a mad woman, feeling severe FOMO if I wasn't always on the move. But I kept coming back to Iceland very often. There was just some sort of magic here that I couldn't explain. Um, despite the crazy weather and the not so appealing aspects that come with tiny island living, my heart just felt really happy here. Despite this, Leon and I almost moved to LA in 2019. I thought as a YouTuber, I should go to where you are meant to go to make it. It's just safe, three yeah. days Guatemala pyramids. It's, okay. So it's not. <laughs> Shortly after moving to LA, we decided to come to Iceland for a short trip. We thought it was gonna be a short trip because then we were presented with an unexpected, beautiful, amazing opportunity that we just couldn't pass up. Five years after moving to Iceland on my birthday last year, I bought this house together with my partner Leon and we lived happily ever after. <laughs> So why stay in Iceland? Simply because Iceland is pure magic. Thank you so much Iceland for having me. I am eternally grateful.